Hello boys and girls, welcome to another day in Minecraft and we are back today at our big tree farm and uh, what I want to accomplish in this episode is basically finish all the plots where we plant the trees and that should also complete the uh, redstone line right behind me. And as this part is uh, something like uh, the thing that ties everything together, uh, we will see uh, this being built and completed in various sections. So without further ado, uh, let's get to the first one. The first puzzle piece of today's episode is already in place. You can see we have a second layer of water uh, on this uh, glass floor. And the reason why we have it is below. You can see quite a bit of redstone. And from above we get saplings. And I want to avoid saplings landing on these uh, uh, wool arms uh, and thereby losing on the saplings. So that's why we have another layer of water going from the left to the right and the uh, items will shoot out here over the edge. And of course there and there we have holes in the whole thing for the sensors same as on this side so the next thing is to build up this middle part here now this is the major part but before we go into that we do have a pressure plate on here and I can jump on it. You see the redstone door down there activates, but nothing happens. And that's because we have the state machine there, which basically prevents uh, anything unwanted happen um, if we are not in the right situation. And this pressure plate is basically, uh, or I walk this way all the end to here and then start planting saplings. And on the way back, I run over this pressure plate signifying all saplings are planted and we can proceed to the next step. Uh, down here we have hopper lines that also go back there uh, and that's just another thing to collect more of the drops because of course uh, we do not want to have anything on these uh, rails down here uh, where we could also lose saplings. Uh, we cannot uh, completely avoid that um, but let's have a look uh, at one thing at a time we get a signal from back there which is then detected uh, over here uh, and what we are doing is um, we propagate the signal to these two lines and then detect it uh, with two observers on this side, uh, basically then propagating the signal up uh, on that side. So this trapdoor flips. Uh, we uh, power this or we observe this, power this block. But at the same time, we power this sticky piston extending uh, this one up uh, and that means uh, the sticky the this piston above there 
will extend as well and at the same time um, or in the same uh, order uh, we also uh, divert the signal over here then we have a bit of delay there before we uh, trigger that piston so if we have a tree up here we basically move the lower block the the, the four lower stems um, to the side now why would we need that if i get back up here we can see the tree that grows here is blocked here and we will basically push all everything from that direction over there but on this line we cannot push that's why we push everything or at the lowest level we push everything one uh, block over and then back here we have chests for bone meal that go in here and that's how the saplings are bone milled and eventually uh, uh, a tree will grow and this is also uh, done uh, through the uh, mechanism down there we have another observer there and we create uh, short poles here uh, that basically uh, triggers this, this this dispenser until um, we retract uh, the uh, dispenser again uh, and this happens when we detect all three trees have grown so that's where the uh, daylight sensors come into play all right this is the major part here uh, but there are still a few pieces missing that below basically to the tree growing part of this farm we have reached here maybe not the end of the rainbow but the last piece of uh, the farm that i want to build today and it is a roof on top of everything and with that we can control the light level below and we do have uh, one hole uh, beneath this uh, blue wool block and another one here and these two holes actually sit on top of these uh, daylight sensors that are in night mode night mode because then it also works during night time uh, with uh, the other setting it would only work uh, during daylight and once we have placed uh, the saplings and want to start growing the trees we will close there off and we do compare the signals from this one and the wrong other one that is totally obscured by the block here on top and once the tree has grown we will have some leafage uh, over here uh, reducing the light level and we can detect this signal then there and thereby detect okay tree has grown and on top of here we get a signal in from here um, uh, and basically the connection is to down there where that torch is uh, first thing that we will build in a future episode and the other signal we get from down there and on here we have a water column with some magma block uh, down below so 
this is a public column um, and once that uh, state changes uh, when the block down is moved out the state changes immediately we detect it on here and we also get a signal up here and basically what we do is uh, when we have planted all the saplings we move the blue wool blocks over the opening here and once the trees have grown all three trees then we basically can proceed to the next step and we can open up again so basically that's it for today's episode uh, next episode i think we will do another farm because uh, for the piece back there we need something for which we have not yet built a farm so that's a good reason as i need to do it uh, but for today that's all so hope you enjoyed it and join me next time so all that's left to say is goodbye <laughs>